China and South Korea are in disagreement over the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System, or the TOT system, installed in South Korea. The TOT is a U.S. missile defense shield, developed in 1990s, is designed to intercept short and medium range ballistic missiles. Relations between South Korea and China have been in downward trends since 2016, when South Korea bought the missile defense system from the U.S. to better counter North Korea's evolving missile threats. China views that the TOD system has powerful radar and could be used to detect its missile activities inside its airspace. When South Korea installed the first TOD system in 2017, bilateral relations between China and South Korea soured, and China retaliated by curbing trade and cultural imports from Seoul. South Korea's previous president Moon Jae-in, pursued a liberal engagement with North Korea, and tried to repair relations with Beijing by pledging the three no's, that South Korea will not deploy any additional TOD systems, not to participate in U.S.-led missile defense networks, and not to form a trilateral military alliance with Washington and Tokyo. However, the newly elected president, Yoon Suk-yeol, while on his campaign trail pledged to buy another TOD battery, and since taking office in May, has vowed to abandon the previous government's promises on the three no's, saying that the three no's were never a formal agreement or promise. The South Korean Defense Minister Lee jong sup said, the policy on the TOD system would not change because of China's opposition, and the system's radar would not be used against China. In a recent meeting between Chinese and South Korean foreign ministers, Wang Yi and Park Jin, China warned that TOD system undermines Chinese strategic security interests. However, the South Korean foreign minister responded that the TOD system is a defensive tool for protecting South Korean lives and property, and that it's a national security matter which is non-negotiable. Thanks for watching, and for more updates on defense economics finance and geopolitics please subscribe to our channel.